All right, after my last run with the UDR and the new Vitavon rear axle, I notice how this freaking, oh yeah, woo, great. This hot racing, it, it doesn't stay on. Okay, I put a longer, a little bit longer millimeter, uh, this is what I put in there, a four millimeter, so it's a little longer than what it comes with. And I put two of them in. I put one in the bottom and one in the top. And it and I put red thread lock in. And it's just not staying on. It's really frustrating. This side came off. I took it off. It was the freaking thing was stripped out in there too, the screw. So I'm basically just done with the hot racing sway bar setup because I'm just over it. If it stayed on, it would have been perfect. It would have been fine. You know, I this is thicker, which is good. But man, the the reason this strip too is because I when I put it on, I screwed it so far down on there. And I guess I stripped it. I was using these old set of uh, Allen wrenches. Now I have the MIP. And these things are legit. They, <laughs> they haven't stripped a screw yet. And they fit in to all the Allen head hexes perfectly and they've been really good so far so i highly recommend these stop messing around with your traxxas ones or whatever i had before i don't even know where they are anymore they're in one of these drawers but i've just been using these mips they are amazing highly recommended this wouldn't have been this wouldn't have been stripped if i was using those before but I'll drill this out. I'll get it out. But I'm really thinking about the Vitavon now. They, uh, supposedly it goes on right here. It clamps onto this and it just won't come out. So we'll figure it out. Get the Vitavon one. I'm going to order that up. Might as well try that one out. I tried the hot racing. I tried modifying it myself to you know to hold it on better i tried the red thread lock nothing seemed to work so i'm i'm done i'm done trying to make the hot racing work and i will say it people were right on facebook so you know people were hardcore vitavon super fans or fanboys of Vitavon, which, you know, the rear axle is really good so far, but man, these hot racing, and I do have the hot racing, uh, hexes, the little brake calipers and all that on there too. So, you know, whenever those go, maybe I'll get the Vitavon of those too. So, all right, just a small update on the hot racing sway bar. Not very happy with it. Vitavon, you're getting ordered right now. And in the last running video, I showed how my tire came unglued. I just glued it back on myself. So those Vitavon uh, wheels look pretty nice too, though. I don't know. We'll see. But I, I like these stock ones. The tires are good. They haven't really worn out at all. I have driven it around a couple times on the street too. But yeah, I mean, these tires are holding up pretty well. But they just came unglued and I glued it back on. All right, I took the 
hot racing sway bar off. Go. Putting the Vitavon on. All right. I need to clean this thing. It got dirty. But that's what they do. They get dirty. It's really dirty. Damn. All right. Boom. Installed. So it was a little hard to get through here because there's a light bar on it and usually the people just slide it in there but it was I had to kind of take it apart take the this arm off and this this arm off and the other arm off to get it to slide through here and I have to just lift this up just like that to make it fit but I got it in I dropped one of the screws to this, of course, and I found it though, so that was good. But um, yeah, the all these screws need thread lock. This was just coming out already. It was really loose in there. It needs thread lock. These need thread lock too, even though they had. It looked like they had a little bit on there, but it was they were just unscrewing already. So just thread lock on everything when you buy this so yeah I mean I hope it looks good I just hope it doesn't I don't know it went through it before where's the old one the old sway bar is right under this arm basically right there that's where the hole is. I just hope it doesn't transfer energy to this frame here, to the frame, and maybe crack this or, I don't know. It just scares me a little bit that it's clamped down to the actual frame, but we'll see. Other than that, it wasn't a bad install. The other guy on YouTube said, oh, it's got a lot of slop. It barely has any slop. It's went right on. The other video that I looked on on YouTube, I don't know the exact guy's name, but he actually installed it upside down. It says clearly on it, that's left. That's the left side of the truck, left. There's the right, see, it says right. And he put these on upside down, which I guess you can do that, but on the picture on the Vitavon site, this is how they installed it, right side up. So I thought I would do it the same way as the picture on the Vitavon eBay and Vitavon Facebook group whatever but just remember use your use your Loctite you know that's gotta use the Loctite so yeah but uh there we go gonna give it a test run all right let's go all right so we have the Vitavon rear solid axle on there and we got the Vitavon front sway bar on there now. Yeah! I forgot how fun this thing is to drive. But here we are at my favorite spot. So today, Traxxas just uh, dropped word. Crap. Hate when I do that. 
I really need to try this on 6S. Because, I mean, I was on the throttle there. Or was I? Yeah, see, I was on the throttle. But uh, yeah, so today anyway, Traxxas uh, gave word that they were releasing a new truck and it's called the Traxxas Sledge. And the video they dropped, some of it was filmed here. So I don't know exactly when they were here. It looked like they were here pretty early in the morning. So I didn't catch them when I was here, but you can see one of the, uh, one of the shots in the video. They're at this little, little mound right here. This little, well, this used to, there used to be uh, bunkers up here for World War II. And uh, when I was a kid, we used to be able to crawl into the bunkers and go explore them and stuff. They've since filled them in. There's still a couple holes up here, but this was uh, something from from the bunkers, this uh, mound right here. But yeah, in the Traxxas video, they start out right here and they go down to the BMX jumps over there. So yeah, I don't know. What are you guys' thoughts on the Traxxas sledge? Uh, you know, I'll be honest, kind of looks like a Creighton, very similar to a Creighton. So, but hey, Traxxas, if you want to send me one, sure, I'll drive it and review it, but I doubt they're going to do that. Yes, Traxxas, if you're watching this. Send me the, ooh, what did I hit over there? That rock caused that? Send me the new Traxxas Sledge. I'll take one for free. Probably not gonna buy one though. Oh, big rollover. The walk of shame. I still love this truck, man. It's so fun to drive. I haven't even driven it on 6S yet. 4S seems plenty. It's fun. Look at that, it's just badass. Very fun to drive it. Missed the jump that time. All right, I hope the camera is framed good enough. I mean, I have it pointed down so you can see it. And then when I look up, I hope you can see it. But like, you, I have the preview of the GoPro on my phone, but then once you press record, you can't see it anymore, so. Oh. That was like a lazy rollover. Gotta have more speed and straight on, huh? Oh! That didn't... That didn't look good. Let's see how the sway bar is holding up there. Oh yeah, it's on there. It ain't coming off either. So yeah. I mean, I honestly, I think I like how it, people say, I, cause I had, I ran it without the sway bar when the, my sway bar was broken. And then I ran it with the hot racing, it was broken too. And I honestly like it with the sway bar on the car. I don't know, just something, oh, 
a little two wheel action just something about it Ooh. I like it better with with the sway bar so that's just my personal opinion there Okay, let's hit these, let's hit this pack right here. Oh, sick. Now, last time I ran this, my run time wasn't, uh, wasn't everything I wanted, honestly. I gotta get a bigger milliamp battery, but I'm gunning it a lot, you know? full throttling down this straight here but it's fun this is gets a little loose it drives so so good I look, oh shit shit and this truck i definitely oh that was dumb this truck I definitely don't bring down to the BMX jumps over there because it's it's not a basher guys it's it's a scale driving experience and I think I already drive it even more crazy than I'm supposed to you can tell the battery's gonna die soon Let's walk it back up here and hit some spots that I haven't really hit all the time. Uh-oh. Got a couple dogs over there. it I do like this soft dirt right here check out this berm come over here so we don't have the sun glare all right let's hit this berm oh man I'm rolling it over like crazy people said uh, Changing the shock oil might make a difference and help the rollovers, but honestly, you just gotta be careful and you gotta drive it better. Once you start, once I started driving that buggy, wow. Oh, it rolled back over, perfect. We can't see anything. Ooh. I could barely see the truck from how dusty it's getting. Woo. Smoke myself out here. All right, back to the normal loop here.
And there it is. Lipo cut off. Very fun car, but I do need a better battery. I mean, I think this is a 5200 milliamp battery. And uh, my uh, tire came unglued last time. I think it was, yeah, this one. I did glue it back and it looks like it's holding up. So cool, just glued it back and back on the boulevard there. But yeah, 5200 milliamp battery on this. And uh, I mean, the runtime is pretty weak, but no puffing on this battery. And I've, uh, you know, been taking good care of it, but maybe time for a new battery. I said that last time, but I've been uh, focusing on buying more stuff for my uh, velodrome racing. So uh, I'm gonna get a new radio for that. Uh, Futaba, I'm thinking about a Futaba. I haven't bought it yet, but I do wanna get uh, new batteries for that too. I was thinking getting some max amps. A lot of people recommended them. So I'm gonna try the max amps and I got a new charger, an eye charger, uh, 406 Duo. So um, yeah, and I got a power supply for it. And so now I just need to get new bats and the uh, transmitter, the radio, because uh, I want to have some adjustments. There's a screen, you could adjust all kinds of stuff on it. So I'm thinking about getting the Futaba 4 p.m. And yeah, but everybody, uh, thanks for watching my channel. Go check out my other channels, Alec Bauer Music, Big Al's World, Big Al's Railroad, and I will leave the link to all those down in the description. All right, folks, a uh, little update here. Look at that. I bent this arm right here. Pretty bad. So that's what I did this run. Uh, sway bar stayed on there, no problem, guys. Yeah, sway bar is good. I'm very happy with the Vitavon. And oh yeah, to everybody who said, it's gonna get so scratched up, it's gonna be silver. Guys, it's really not that bad, look at it. Only a couple scratches that I've ran this, I don't know, maybe three or four times since I put this on. And uh, yeah, but everything is still spinning here, the only thing that happened today was this bend right here and uh, i do have the rpm ones i don't know if i'm gonna go vitavon on these because i really don't want to overdo it with heavy aluminum stuff so yeah i'm gonna change these to the rpms and uh yeah that's it for now i'm gonna keep it as is all right, everybody, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Big Al RC out. Subscribe. This has been a big house presentation.